Ooh, okay, so as you can see, I finally got this working, and it's through the tunnel. Uh, it's it's maxed out. So I mean, it's it's clear that this is a uh, a fix for me. So um, I will definitely be sharing that as to what I just found. So yeah, seems to be working now. To continue. Okay, so this will not be a very long recording at all as to the fix for. Uh, the recent issue <laughs> that I just had. So, um, pretty much what I just noticed on a Titanfall uh, in the beta forums, um, somebody posted a couple of things that could solve the things. Uh, a bunch of people were posting issues, but this was seeming to be the most concrete answer as to the issue. So, mostly, most of you who are using NVIDIA cards are going to be having this issue. So, what you're going to want to do, which if you didn't see what I just did, um, you right click on your desktop or anywhere, or even you can use your um, search for Windows. Um, open up your NVIDIA control panel, and this is mostly because you are using a onboard uh, graphics card, whether it be on your motherboard or on your laptop. Um, if you're using a laptop um, so pretty much what you're going to want to do is you want to come into manage 3d settings and within manage 3d settings you want to go to project settings I mean project settings I'm thinking of uh, uh, Adobe um, you want to go to program settings you want to open this up and it's not going to recognize it by default so if you just play Titanfall when you click add it should say um, sorting by recently used and Titanfall should be right here uh, pretty much one of your first ones up here if it's not here um, you scroll down a little bit and you'll see it and you can also sort from A to Z and you can find it through there so once you do that um, you're going to want to switch this from the default which is going to be the global setting for using your integrated graphics what that means is it's going to be using whatever your uh, motherboards built-in graphics card is whether it be the Intel card that I have or an AMD card whatever it is it's gonna be your built-in card that's in your motherboard not your um, if you have an external GPU if you have a laptop like I do which has a uh, another GPU in it that's what it's not gonna be using so you're gonna to wanna to switch it to high performance NVIDIA processor and that should solve the issue press apply and the game would will run pretty much through your your actual video card so even if your game was lagging and such and it, and it wasn't um, if you're having a lot of lag and it, it wasn't having the stretch issue or anything like that then the reason for that is because it wasn't using your video card at all whatsoever so that should fix it if it doesn't um, I believe ATI also has a, I mean AMD also has a uh, a control panel I believe it's called catalyst if I remember correctly I haven't had an AMD card in a while so um, you should be able to do something similar to this and check that in there but I'm not sure if this is going to be the same issue for um, AMD cards so if you're if you're having the issues that'll be the first thing that you're going to want to check and also um, some people said that disabling anti-aliasing would fix it but I believe that that's only because their CPUs um, uh, processor was not able to handle it because obviously your built-in motherboard um, processor for your GPU will not be as good as your external GPU so hopefully that works for you that just definitely worked for me and it seemed to fix my issue so that's about it peace